loser or poke qu poke princess Ibuki. Uh, yeah, that was that's the point. Uh, Revolution catered to either a casual player or a pro or a, um or a, a pro player, skilled or pro player. If you wanted to play casually, you can add you can play with the stage transitions and the, um and the um, op, um and the obstacles. But if you wanted to play strictly Clash Ninja serious style, like serious high level play, you turn them off. Revolution two and three gave you the option to turn those off, and I think no. All three games gave you the option to turn them off. Cause the cause the Gekito series on the Wii didn't give you the option to turn those off until like EX2 or 3. So no. I'm sorry, Sean, but if you thought that the Revolution series was more casual than Gekito, you're dead wrong. Wow, call the garbage up. And then Jordan is still e like it's still even in life compared to Otten. Can still take this. Uh oh, about to cause an upset. And does with low kick into fierce. I mean, low, hard, like swinging roundhouse into fierce kick. Uh oh! Ninjarden going in hard, but Ott's like, no, wait, this is Street Fighter 3. We got parries. Gets EX stump kicks. That's the funny thing, Sean. Whenever we see a huge roster in any game, we automatically think that that game is like the most, the best game ever. I even I was guilty of it when I was younger. I automatically thought that if a game had a big roster, it automatically equaled that that was the best game ever. But a big roster just creates a lot of problems. Nice EXDP. This is bad for Ninja. And when I say that, so don't worry, Sean. I had the same amount of bias when I was younger. If a game didn't have a stellar amount of characters to choose for, it was garbage. And I was dead wrong when I found that out. Luckily, I learned with age. But 11 people. Oh, try for the reset. Gets EX thump kicks. This is close. Can Ninja to end up taking the King's crown? Gets EX cutter kicks. Get off me, says I. Right. Gets EX Rasengan after that cross up. EX thump kicks. And then Jordan takes the King's crown. <laughs> 